we will be looking at some of the products I make and sell, which have allowed me to leave my full-time job and run my own business. The largest source of income for me has come from online sales. Here is a quick look at my online store. If you are interested in getting a closer look or seeing what prices I am able to sell my products at, you can browse my store later at chadscustomcreations.com. Now let's look into some real life examples of products that I have made and sold. The first one that we're looking at here is keychains. Now I got started out with these from a realtor that contacted me wanting to put keychains on the keys that he would give to his clients that would purchase houses. For these, I cut out maple, mahogany, and walnut, and they cut out and engraved really easily. A great starter for someone which requires very little hands-on production time would be engraving and selling customized coaster sets. They are quick and easy to make and ship very cheaply. I personally like to spray my coasters with Minwax Satin Lacquer before engraving. This provides a very high contrast between the darkness of the slate and the lightness of the engraving itself. Probably my biggest claim to fame would have to be my Palette State cutouts on Etsy. Now, being able to include laser engraving on these took my business to the next level and made me stand out from all the rest. I think everyone loves cutting boards, but being able to engrave and personalize cutting boards really takes them to the next level. And of course, you can either make your own high-end cutting boards yourself, or I'll let you in on a little secret. The cutting boards that I sell are pre-made because my customers are not coming for my cutting boards. They're coming for the fact that they are personalized and engraved. If you have the chance to get in touch with some local businesses or restaurants in your area, I highly recommend letting them know of the capabilities that you have once you have your laser up and running because I've had a lot of repeat customers with different restaurants around town requiring signage and branding for their stores. With the rotary on the machine, you also have the capability of engraving any type of rounded objects. I, in the past, have had a lot of good luck with these maple rolling pins, especially with a local company to me called The Cookie School, who sells these rolling pins at the classes that they throw. Now this is a more recent item I have started to produce, but these are just simple QR codes engraved on oak plywood. They are selling quite well, and just the other day I had a restaurant in California place an order for 39 of them to be placed on the 39 tables at their restaurant. I doubt many of you will know what these are, but this is called a boot jack. I make these myself and engrave them, and I cannot believe how popular these items have been. I don't know if it's the fact that I'm including the engraving or not, but I have sold way more of these than I would like to say, but it is definitely a product that has kept my business alive and growing. It was a few years ago that someone in the Coast Guard contacted me online and asked if I could make them custom plaques for their challenge coins. Ever since then, I have been growing my clientele with the military, making different pieces for the Army, Navy, Coast Guard, and even recently I made a piece for somebody in the CIA. It's been a great product for me, and it has been a clientele that continues to grow and is a repeat customer. So that has been really good for me in my business. Again, looking back at realtors as a clientele, this is a simple project that you can make using your laser engraver for photo ops for your realtors. Again, when they sell houses, they can get pictures with their clients on the houses that they have sold for them. Something I don't think many people expect is how well this laser works on stainless steel. It's really cool to see how great they come out on these dog tags, and these alone would be a really great product for a company to start with. Of course, tumblers, yetis, coffee mugs, anything like that, if you can customize it, they will buy it. And the x -Tool is perfect for these. And I cannot wait for us to get to take a look at the new rotary that x -Tool is coming out with. The ability to be able to cut and make custom wooden engraved boxes is definitely a product that I think people would be interested in. And the possibilities for shapes and designs are endless. 
laser engraved Christmas ornaments is a huge market. But I will warn you, if you plan on doing Christmas ornaments or Christmas products, make sure you are ready to start selling by October because it comes in hard and it comes in fast. And if you're not ready for it, the stresses of shipping out near Christmas will be way too much for you. If you are confident with digital design, you will have no problem at all selling signs. Being able to communicate back and forth with clientele is probably the toughest part of making the signs, but once you get that all sorted out, producing and making the signs is no problem at all and can yield some very high profits. Let's not forget leather products because the X tool does a really good job of cutting and engraving leather and I personally really enjoy making these little leather patches that you can glue onto different style hats. I love being able to create different educational tools for my children. When they were young and learning the alphabet, I was able to design up these different puzzle pieces to help them learn their alphabet, and it made for a really good time and a fun way to learn. These bottle caddies were a popular item for quite a while, and again, being able to include engravings on your products really will help you to stand out from all the rest. I have had good luck with different schools and organizations near me that throughout the year will require different trophies and awards for the events that they throw throughout the year. This product is probably a little unexpected, but if you take a logo or design and mirror it before engraving, you can essentially create your own stamps. Here you can see how I pressed these stamps into my own cardboard boxes. Speaking of schools and organizations, there is a school actually the school that I used to teach at, where every time they get a new teacher, they require a new teacher door sign, and I am the guy that they always go to. So that, again, is a great source of income for me, is just being able to have that repeat customer. Apart from online sales, I have also had great success with selling locally as well, by sharing my products on my social media and taking on commissions that way. Here is an example of a cross I made and then engraved. After posting it online, I sold out locally within the first week and still to this day have people requesting that I make more of these. My probably number one client, because he is someone who continues to come back, is this apparel company who has me make these custom signs that he sends out to the clothing retailers that sell his apparel. And this is a business that continues to come back and grow and grow. Another really big ticket item is outdoor signage. Specifically, you can see here, I made these outdoor signs for a local subdivision. And the last thing I'm going to show you here is the fact that you can take handwritten notes and duplicate them perfectly onto any products that you have in mind, like this bench here. Okay, now that I have given you 25 ideas of products that you could use in your own business. So go on now. That's all I got.